Hey, it's Nick from 50 Campfires. Just about 20 minutes up the road from Crested Butte, Colorado, sits the ghost town of Gothic. And while Gothic was built to accommodate the silver boom of the late 1800s, it now houses a completely different function, the Rocky Mountain Biological Laboratory. Rocky Mountain Biological Laboratory is a field station that was founded in 1928. We host scientists from around the world that come here to do field research. We own or manage about a thousand acres. We also maintain laboratory buildings as well as housing that the scientists stay in. Um, and we provide logistical support for the scientists who are doing their field research. And then we also run programs, both for the general public as well as children, K-12 programs, so kids can come in and learn about the science in the outdoors. And this field station is known all over the world. So scientists who work in ecology, evolutionary biology, field biology, they will read about research done here in scientific journals and popular media, so we're fairly well known. The Gothic town site is an old mining town that was established in 1879. There was a silver strike that brought in a lot of miners. The value of silver dropped in the early 1890s when the United States went off the silver standard and then the buildings were abandoned. We have three of the original buildings that date to 1880, but then the biologists moved in in 1928. People say, well, who would care about research at the Rocky Mountain Biological Laboratory? And if you drink water, if you eat food, if you breathe air, you probably care about the research that was done here. A lot of what the world knows about pollination is based upon research that was done here. And while the drive up to Gothic is worth it just to check out the ghost town, they're also doing some incredible work here at the Rocky Mountain Biological Laboratory. The next time you're passing through Crested Butte, head on up, it's worth a visit.